Fox. I'm Janine and I'm here with the fellas. I'm Vince J. It's your boy B Sky. Yeah. And we are here at the Man Cave and ready to talk some football. <laughs> wow, that's something we haven't heard in a while. No, <laughs> no, we haven't talked about it. So, lockout. so, talk for, about so first of all, let's talk about the AFC North. The Steelers, mm -hmm. Ravens, Browns, and the Bengals. Mm -hmm. And while many teams are working out independently, Chad has been working out with the Bulls. Yes. And I'm not talking about Chicago. Oh, we're not talking about Chicago. Man, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Ocho Cinco is unbelievable. I see why he's skeptical about even being in Cincinnati. He's got too much going on, riding bulls and it, TV <laughs> shows and everything else. 1.5 seconds he held yeah. onto a bull and got $10,000. So that proves two things oh. to me. He can't hold onto the ball. He can't hold onto the bull. Can he hold onto his job? I can count money, though. Okay. Dollar bill. Cha-ching. Okay. okay. So anyway, we can, um, what about, what's going on with them, though? I mean, is, is anything? Cincinnati? Yeah. Cincinnati, I mean, okay, Carson Palmer's gone. You get Dal Andy Dalton in the Andy draft. Andy Dalton, what? But you pick Second up round. A.J. Green in the first round. Those two picks in itself. Yeah. I mean, you look at the rest of the draft, they yeah. fill in some holes, whatever the case yeah. may be. But those two picks that you picked up right there potentially uh, are going to give them a B. But Andy's going to have to start right away without an offensive line. I was just about to say that would give them a B, but I'm going to have to drop them down because they didn't get nothing else. You know what I'm saying? They, the whole team is going to be throwing up. T.O. T gone. Okay, he done. You, you got uh, Ocho. Ocho, he out. He Ocho can't hang on to the ball. And then even the coach, uh, coach, I'm sorry, the quarterback, he out. Mm. And Marvin says they're up for a new look this year. Oh, they're up for a new look. They're going to be the number result. one pick in the draft. <laughs> okay. All right, so, so how about the Browns now? So the Browns traded the fifth pick of the draft to the Falcons. Will we see the results now? They, I don't think you're going to see it right away, if you ask me. No. Right now, I mean. They still got quarterbacks. They, got, they filled holes, and they had a whole ton of them. Now, they've got a decent base to build on. Right. They, they got some young players. Now, they're bringing them in, and we'll get some things going. Now, on. they also got the curse mm. this year. Ah. Peyton Hill is the cover of uh, Madden this year, so he's going to hit with Madden curse, and he laughs at it. That's so my joke. Pop me the back. I want to believe it. Yeah, you're gonna get but you know what? If about. you look at the history, every single person. Something's happened. Somebody. I mean, Mike didn't want it. Remember the last time? He got straight up in the chest. Yeah. And he was done for the year, so he didn't want it. He was like, dude, you got it. It's on you. All right. Okay. So let's talk about the Ravens now. Okay. okay. So Derek Mason is organizing workouts for his players. What do y'all think about that? Joke. Joke. Methuselah. Yeah. <laughs> Father time himself working yeah. and working out. Okay, I think it's pointless, pointless for these um, these camps in the first place. Right. The, the owners don't care, or they let you in the locker room. They work out something in, the, in this whole collective bargaining thing mm -hmm. to to allow you to go ahead and work out with the team in their facilities. With no coaches there, I mean, how much work is really being done? You're going through reps. Jello shots. I mean, become Kate. Hey, yeah. Kate. Hey, Kate. Bring maybe some honey's go. over. I think just, I might go visit. <laughs> 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 Man, I so, so what about their picks? What about their um, let's see. On them, I'm what taking. They got a cornerback, wide receiver. Now we talked about the wide receivers. They old, so they had to get a wide receiver. But yeah. to me, they didn't do much else. Tyrod's the best guy that they that they picked up to me right off just by looking at this. I mean, they got two cornerbacks, and they did have some problems in the well, secondary. Now Jimmy Smith. Uh, Jimmy Smith is probably one of the best picks they got in a cornerback. With Ed Reed on the other side, you put him on the side. I think that will help them out tremendously. And uh, with Tory Smith. Um, also, mm -hmm. speedster out of Maryland. I, I think that you know they have some potential. I give him a B. I give him a B on the draft for filling because Flacco's going to need that help. Oh, he needs some help. Okay, so B. All right. So how about the Steelers now? Now you know <laughs> Troy, <laughs> Troy Palmer. Did you hear about him? He finished up his college degree with all this free time. So what do you well, think about that? Better than being out. You know, he already got somebody I mean, in the dance He's not getting star. some cake, but you know, he's getting a degree. So some that's cake. Not, that's so not too bad. So what, about their, what about their lineup? We got two corners. Absolutely needed that. That was one of the biggest problems in the Super Bowl to me. Yeah. I mean, well, other than Ben, you know, wasn't really on point. But anyway, yeah. we're going to talk about that. Go ahead. I mean, you pick up Cameron Hayward mm -hmm. in the first round, which is an absolute steal. How he, st he stayed in the draft that far down and no one picked him up with no defensive ends and defensive end needs is incredible to me. A phenomenal athlete, second generation. Uh, I think he's going to improve the defense, and they're going to that pressure that's going to be put on him, helping that secondary. I, I look at the Steelers being right back okay. where they were. So I give him a B. I give him a B. Double A's for me. Double A's. All right. Well, we know who his favorite is. <laughs> All right. I think that wraps up the AFC North. So be sure to tune in to the owners' box. Yeah. Go through every division in the upcoming.
upcoming season. That's right. So anyway, I'm Vince Jet. I'm your boy B. Scott. And I'm Janine. And we are out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>